Hey, in this video, I'll show you how to set up a social proof bubble. This is a small pop-up that you can display on the order form or on any other page. What it does is it tells page visitors who last bought your product using real but completely anonymized customer data. This strengthens your customers' trust in you, as they can be sure that there are other customers and that it's not some sort of scam. For you, this means more buyers and increased sales. Please note that we do have another similar feature called the Social Proof Box. This isn't a pop-up that displays different data of individual customers, but rather a fixed part of your page where several customer data is displayed. All you need before that is a product in Digistore 24, and of course, to know where you want to embed the bubble, whether on your sales page, opt-in page, or even directly on the order form itself. No matter where you want it, you need to have already created this page or environment. Now let's get started. First of all, go to Account, and then Conversion Tools. Once the page is loaded, switch to the Social Proof Widget tab. Then click on this button here, and make sure you select Bubble before clicking on OK. Now you can set up your bubble. First off, you have to enter a name for it. This is a name only for you, so that you don't lose the overview your customers won't see this name. Then make sure that you set active to yes, then select the products whose customers should be displayed in this bubble. Here you can change the size of your bubble. I would advise that you don't change anything for the time being, but rather place the bubble in the desired position as soon as it's ready, and then adjust the dimensions here if necessary. Be careful though, because anytime you change something, you have to include the code again which we'll copy later. Now you have to specify how much time should pass between the page being accessed and the first appearance of the bubble. Here you can set how long the bubble should be displayed, and finally how much time should pass before the next bubble with the next customer's information is displayed. If you want, you can also set the maximum number of times the bubble should be displayed. If you leave this field blank, there won't be a limit. Now you've set the time intervals. Next, we have to be a little more precise about the customer data. First, select whether test purchases can be shown or whether only real buyer data should appear in the bubble. The next option is about how the buyer data is displayed, either with first name and city, with city and without the first name, or with first name and without city. In addition, you can adjust the corresponding texts in the bubble in these fields here. At this point, please note that you can also include placeholders, which are here below. They will then be automatically adjusted by the respective data applicable to the customer. For example, date will be replaced by the date of the corresponding purchase. Finally, all you have to do is to select how the country should be displayed. If you want the full country name to be shown, select yes. If the country code is sufficient, select no. And lastly, if you want to add your own CSS code here, click on Yes, and paste it in this field here. Once you're done, click on Save at the bottom. Now you'll see the options for integrating your social proof bubble. For example, you can embed the HTML code on the page where you want to have the bubble. The most popular use case for this is probably the sales page. However, another pretty important use case is integration on the order form. To integrate this on the order form, go to Account, and then Products, and then click on the pencil icon next to the product where you want to embed the social proof bubble. Then switch to the Order Form tab. Now scroll to the Order Form window, and select your newly created bubble for Social Proof Bubble. If you now click on Save, the bubble is going to be displayed on your order form from now on. So congratulations! If you'd like to discover more about other ways to optimize your sales process, just take a look at the playlist that's now displayed.